So uh, for trauma-sensitive yoga, one of the big goals is to help you become a little bit more aware of your body, uh, tune in to some of those signals so that however you practice, whatever postures you choose, they're based on what's best for you. And you'll notice that I use very invitational language because I want you to know that everything I say is just an invitation, just a suggestion and not a command. And the most important thing you can do today is focus on your breath. And I'll definitely give you some cues to get into that a um, little deeper. So if you're planning on using your playlist today, go ahead and pull that up. We're going to start at the very top with face him. Okay, ready for the countdown? Here we go. Three, two, one, play. So you can actually go ahead and make your way onto your back, just laying back on your mat in a comfortable position. So if you do have tension in your low back, feel free to place a rolled blanket, a bolster, or even a pillow under the knees. Elevating the knees will just relieve a little bit of low back pressure. And you can have something under your head like me if you'd like. And just settle in. Noticing what kind of positioning of the hands and feet feels good for you. Does it feel better to just let the hands rest on your belly? Or maybe lay down by your sides? So just seeing if you can tune in to how your body's feeling and see if you need to make any little adjustments to make this posture feel a little bit more lovely in your body. And if it feels safe to you in your current environment, feel free to close your eyes and just listen to my voice. We'll be here for a little while. So as you're laying on your back, just begin to notice the spaces in your body that come in contact with your mat, with your chosen prop. with the earth beneath you. Maybe you're even starting with your feet and noticing every space one at a time. As you notice each of those spaces that touch the earth or your prop, notice how that feels. So if your feet are touching the ground, if they're hanging off your mat, what does the ground feel like under your feet? What does the mat feel like under your legs? Are you using a pillow under the knees? Or some sort of support? Notice what that feels like. Just 
slowly making your way all the way to the back of the head. Turning your awareness now to your breath. Just noticing its natural rhythm. Is it deep or shallow? Is it smooth? Or is it staggered? So this stress builds up in the body. It does constrict our breathing. When our bodies are stuck in that survival mode. So maybe you start to let the breath be a little longer little slower, allowing the belly to be soft and expand with your inhale. You might let the exhale become slightly longer than the inhale. As you breathe in, notice all the spaces that feel expansion. Maybe the belly, the chest, sides of the rib cage or the back. Where do you feel it? As you continue to breathe, just turning your awareness to your thoughts. What kind of thoughts are taking up space in your mind today? Along with those thoughts, what kind of self-talk? Try not to judge your thoughts as good or bad. And if you're struggling with judging them, maybe just notice if a thought is helpful or unhelpful. gathering up all those thoughts in your mind's eye and just setting them in a little box beside you. And noticing if there's any emotional response that you have to those thoughts or just what you happen to be feeling today. There's no wrong answer here. Again, we're just noticing what's happening, what's going on in our inner world. As you're noticing those emotions, 
keeping in mind that our thoughts and our emotions will always have a corresponding sensation in the body. Sometimes that sensation shifts to a different place in the body. What are you feeling? Is there a place where you tend to hold more tension? As you breathe, do you notice tight, tense places? Gathering up those emotions, setting them in your mind's eye in that same little box. And if you are noticing any sensations, any tension anywhere in the body, just visualize yourself as you breathe deep. Breathing into that space as if expansion is coming in with your inhale, whether it's into the shoulders, the hips, the neck, any place that you hold tight. With your exhale, maybe you feel that space soften just a millimeter. Turning your ascension, your heart gaze to your savior. our healer, our protector, the lover of your soul. Maybe taking a moment to just say a silent prayer, inviting him into this space, into this time. He's here and ready to meet with you. He already has an invitation for you. Are you ready to give him your yes? Lord, we thank you for bringing us together this day in this space. God, we pray that as we move through this practice together, that you would open our eyes and our hearts and our minds to who you are, show us you, peel back any layers, any misconceptions or false beliefs and show us you in truth. Thank you, Lord, in your name we pray. Amen. I'm going to read a few verses to you from Psalm 91. I'll read them several times throughout our practice today. This first time, just listening and becoming aware of any word or phrase that catches your attention. When you abide under the shadow of Jedi, you are hidden in the strength of God most high. 
He is the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me, the only God for me and my great confidence. His massive arms are wrapped around you, protecting you. You can run under his covering of majesty and hide. His arms of faithfulness are a shield, keeping you from harm. What word or phrase stuck with you? Shaddai is taken from the Hebrew root word with many expressive meanings. It can mean God of the mountain, God, the destroyer of enemies. God, the self-sufficient one. God, the nurturer of babies. Or God, the almighty. If you're ready to invite some movement into your body, feel free to follow along. If you have something under your knees for support, you can set it to the side and allow your feet to come to your mat. Knees are bent. Maybe you walk the feet to rest on the very outer edges of your mat. And let your knees start to fall and touch the center. Just noticing how that feels. Did you feel any change in sensation in the low back space? as you changed your leg position. Where have your hands landed? Maybe placing one hand on the belly and you'd like. Tuning into that breath, just feeling as you inhale, first the belly fills with breath and then the chest. Hold for just a moment. Exhale, emptying first the chest and then the belly. Noticing how the breath feels against your hand. Do you feel your heart beat? We'll be moving so slow through our practice today. Maybe that feels counterintuitive for you. Notice how your mind responds to the slowness. 
any emotions that bubble up. Even how the body feels. Maybe you start to let your arms really opening out like wings, just an option. Maybe even seeing how it feels to turn the palm, the face, the sky. Noticing how the shoulder rotation changes when the palms turn up. Maybe you notice right away there's a little bit more openness in the heart space and the shoulders. Is that an area that builds up a lot of tension in your body? Maybe will feel good to breathe deep, feeling the heart open with each breath. From here, keeping the feet where they are, maybe you let the knees start to fall to the right. Little bit of a twist here. If it feels good in your body, maybe you gaze over the left arm. If you find yourself craving more sensation here, maybe you set your right ankle on your left thigh. Being mindful, it's perfectly fine to enter into any posture only about a third of the way what you feel like you could do. Starting from that gentler expression and allowing your breath to ease you in. Maybe that's a way you can express a little bit of compassion toward your body. Is that something that's needed? Anytime you feel like you've had enough of a stretch, feel free to draw the knees back to center. This is your practice and your body. No one knows your body better than you. So you get to choose how long you stay in any posture. You get to come out of it anytime you'd like. Whenever you're ready, if you're still there in your stretch, you can inhale to center in your own time and then allow yourself with your next exhale to let the knees fall the opposite way. Just evenly stretching out both sides. Allowing your breath to continue to be long, deep, and wide. Tension leaving the body with each exhale. The so one thing that trauma does 
that keeps us in this pattern of survival. It interrupts our body's natural process. So what we need to do is teach the body what safety feels like, where it's forgotten safety. And we can close that loop process and file away a traumatic event where healing can come in. So if you find yourself feeling restless or agitated, just know it's your body not remembering safety. might take some time just to teach the body to find safety again. And this practice is one of the steps that you're taking to get you there. Allowing the knees to come back to center whenever you're ready. A few options here. You might just let the knees touch at center once again. Or maybe you draw the knees in toward the chest. They can be spread wide or close together. Wherever they need to be to allow plenty of space for the belly to expand as you inhale. If you have a little bit of extra fluff here in your midsection, you can move and shift it around just to allow it to come between the legs, plenty of space to expand with the breath. And finding a comfortable placement of the hands, maybe they just rest outside the thighs, maybe under the knees, maybe in front of shin, letting this be a little bit of a Hug, giving yourself an embrace to be another expression of love and compassion for this body that's taken you this far in your life. All the things you've been through together. It's done what it's needed to to help you survive. So staying here or just finding a way to be comfortable and rest for another moment as I read our scripture over you once again. When you abide under the shadow of Shaddai, you are hidden in the strength of God most high. He's the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me. The only God for me and my great confidence. His massive arms are wrapped around you, protecting you. You can run under his covering of majesty and hide. His arms of faithfulness are a shield, keeping you from harm. Take notice of any reflection or thought that has surfaced in your heart as you listen. And in the silence, just notice what you're experiencing in response to that scripture.
Anytime you feel ready to bring movement back into your body. Drawing the knees in if you haven't already. Maybe rocking side to side. Getting a little massage in the back side of your body. Where do you feel sensation as you rock? When you're done, easing to center. Maybe you begin to slowly extend both legs toward the ceiling. If the backs of the legs feel tight, you might keep a little bend in your knee. Just feeling the low back against the earth. Flexing the feet nice and strong. The heels push away, the toes draw toward you. Feeling the front of the legs engage nice and strong here. Maybe even some engagement in your lower abdomen, helping you hold your legs up. If at any time this starts to feel like too much, feel free to bring the feet back to the mat. Or even just do this with one leg at a time. This is your practice. Find your expression that honors your body. If you're keeping your legs both up, maybe you alternate pointing and flexing, pedaling the feet here. You could do this with just one leg if that's how you're practicing today. Moving them nice and slow, almost as if your breath is dictating the pace at which you move. Noticing how sensation changes in the feet to point and flex. And another option might be for you, depending on where your body is today and what you need, would just be to let the legs extend on the mat and point and flex. So see what you need to do today. You need a little engagement, activation in your muscles, or does your body need a little bit more rest? more restorative practice. And at any time, if your legs are still extended, you can draw both knees in. Allowing the left leg to extend Bend and find the mat, resting comfortably, keeping that right knee drawn in, giving it a little bit of a hug here. So what does that look like in your body? Maybe you're just using one hand on the outer thigh or under the knee, maybe both hands clasp under the knee or in front of the shin, so many options. So just see what works for you, keeping both feet flexed. Start to allow the knee to come up a little further as you exhale. You have a few options. You can either draw it straight up or maybe a little bit out to the side. Again, if your belly needs a little bit more space to expand, feel free to find that belly and shift it, just moving it into the open space. As you're drawing that leg in, however that looks for you, notice what's happening in the upper body. Checking in with your shoulders, 
if you tend to hold a lot of tension and stress in the shoulders and neck, you might inadvertently tense the shoulders extra here. So just notice that. See if you're able to kind of roll them back and down to rest a little more comfortably. Staying in that stretch as long as you'd like. And when you're ready to move on, you can bring the right foot to the mat, keeping the knee bent. Option here, if you'd like to let the arms go out like wings again, see if you prefer palms up or down. Notice how the shoulder space feels. Maybe you start to let that knee open toward the right, allowing the sole of the right foot to rest anywhere along that left leg. Anywhere that feels right in your body. If at any time it starts to feel like too much of a stretch, you've got options. And take one of your props, your pillows or your blanket, or if you have a yoga block, elevate that knee. Or you can simply come out of the stretch. So see what you need today from your practice. Remember to breathe. Doing our laying down tree pose. Arms are out in the shape of a cross. Maybe for you, that's a reminder and a reflection of your savior on the cross. His word tells us while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were enemies of God, he paid the price. God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Not only that, but you get to be called his child, his beloved. Any barriers have been erased and you have full access to the presence of the king who sits on the throne. access to complete acceptance, unconditional love, the one who delights in you. Anytime it feels appropriate in your body to come out of that stretch, you can inhale slowly, drawing the knee back to center. So the right foot lays flat on your mat once again. An optional twist here, I'll walk you through it. If you'd like to take a twist, drawing that right knee in, bringing the left hand across the body. Again, if you have any extra belly or chest left here that needs to be shifted you can bring the arm up and under the chest moving it to help you find a space on that right leg or even just moving the belly a little bit to find it we won't be here for long so once you've found a place to place that left hand across on the opposite leg, starting to come into the twist. So you might just start by tipping the right leg to the left. You can start to shift your weight up onto that left hip, maybe even scooting the left hip under the right a little bit. We just want to focus on keeping this right shoulder rooted into the earth. 
This is our anchor point in this pose. And then the goal is just to feel a stretch along the right side of the body and into the spine. So we're finding length here, keeping the shoulder down, finding where the right hip will go for you to feel a sensation. Maybe that right foot is resting on the earth here. Maybe you're finding one of your props to place under the foot or the knee if necessary. You can keep the left hand on the leg if that feels more secure for you, more stable, or maybe it goes back out and across. Maybe you're gazing over your right arm if that feels good in your body. And just notice where you're feeling this twist. Again, staying in the twist as long as it feels right in your body. Anytime you feel ready to come out, just do so with gentleness and ease. Inhale, guiding that knee back to center. And allowing the right leg to extend and rest. Maybe you go ahead and take a nice long stretch here for the whole body from the tip the toes, reaching your arms overhead. And let it all go. Allowing the left knee to come up. Drawing it in to whatever space feels right in your body. Placing the left hand either behind the knee outside of the thigh or on the shin. If you'd like, the right hand can meet the left, just an option. Making sure your belly has plenty of room to expand as you breathe. So if that means making a little shift with the belly, moving the leg out a little bit, whatever you need. And then allowing as you exhale to feel that knee come a little bit higher. And your expression, your variation. Hanging out there as long as you need. When you're ready to move on, feel free to release the knee, allow the left foot to plant flat. Letting the knee start to open up if that's where you'd like to go in your practice today. Letting the sole of the left foot rest against the inner thigh. Feel free to place a support under that left knee if you need it. And maybe allowing the arms to go out and across if that feels good in your body today. Remembering your breath. Allowing more release in the body with each exhale. 
Noticing how the body responds to the breath. Just continuing to notice what thoughts are coming up for you. There's any shift in your emotions. Continuing to rest here, if this is serving your body well, or if you're ready to move on at any time, gently guiding the knee back to center with your inhale. And drawing the knee back toward your torso, bringing the right hand across the body, however works for you. So. Remembering you can always lift and shift the chest. If you need to find a little more space, you can even shift the belly a little bit here, allowing the left arm to really open like a wing, anchoring down through that left shoulder, keeping it rooted into the earth. And as you start to guide the knee over across the body, remember you can shift the right hip under the left if you'd like. Find a little more ease into that twist. Finding that feeling of expansion and extension from the left shoulder to the left hip. Making sure you still have plenty of space for the belly to expand with your breath. Making any adjustments in your body to find a little more ease. Maybe gazing over your left arm if that's available to you today and that feels right in your body. Feel free to use a support under the left knee at any time if necessary. And if you are using a support, maybe you let the right arm come out as well. Into that cross shape. Noticing if there's any place in the body that starts to tense up. You can allow and direct those muscles to release. Remember that you have the power to choose how long you stay in any posture. Noticing the sensations in your body. Is it signaling needing more 
sensation or less? Is it time to ease out of the posture? Or do you need to stay there a while longer? So once you feel ready to move on, gently guiding that knee back to center. Letting the right knee bend to meet the left, both feet flat. And maybe drawing the knees in once again, giving yourself a hug, finding that expression that feels right for you. Are the knees spread wide or close together? Is the belly still allowed to fill with air without being inhibited? Maybe you start to roll onto either side, whichever side feels right in your body. Coming into what we call feel pose. So maybe you'll rest your hands in prayer under your head. Maybe you'll extend that lower arm to support the head. Maybe the hands will rest in front of you. Whatever expression you choose, just make sure you're feeling supremely comfortable in your body. Knees are drawn as close or as far away as you'd like. Just laying here for a little while. Leaning back into the arms of a loving father. Again, just noticing how the body feels here in the posture. Maybe it feels safe for you in your body to close your eyes. You might visualize yourself in that embrace of a loving Heavenly Father. Those massive arms wrapped around you, protecting you. In the covering of his majesty, you're hidden away. His arms of faithfulness, a shield, keeping you from harm. One of my favorite passages of scripture is in Zephaniah. It talks about how the Lord takes great delight in you. And he quiets you with his love and rejoices over you with singing. So maybe even thinking about what, what would a gaze be like from that sort of father? He delights in you. He quiets you with his love. Rejoices over you with singing.
just invite you as you're noticing your thoughts and noticing your emotions. You're in the present of this God who loves you, who wants to wrap his massive arms around you and protect you. Our safety. Just keeping in mind that there's no safer place to feel what you're feeling. Because you get to approach the throne of grace with confidence. There's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Even when you're feeling angry or sad or scared. Entering into that most honest and vulnerable state in his presence. So he can meet you right where you're at. Right in your need. coming into our last resting pose for our practice today. So I invite you to stay right where you are. If that feels like a comforting resting pose in your body. If you need to shift and do a different pose, maybe you make your way on your back. Maybe for you, laying on your belly flat is comfortable. We're just seeing what, what you need. And maybe taking any final stretches you feel your body asking for before you find your way there. So maybe by now you're starting to make that shape with your body that feels truly comfortable. Making any final adjustments you need. To really settle in. Taking a few more intentional Deep belly breath. Those long, slow exhales, a little longer than your inhale. And as you do, once again, noticing the spaces in your body that come in contact with your mat, with the earth beneath you, with your props. Taking a little mental inventory. Thinking back to those spaces in your body that felt, might have felt tense, tense at the beginning of your practice. Have you noticed any change in those places? As you exhale, maybe you can feel a little bit more tension melting away, almost as if you're sinking into the earth. It's cradling you, holding you secure.
I'm going to read through our scripture one last time for you. I invite you just to sit with Jesus and allow him to speak to you in the silence of your heart. Listen for his prayer in you. When you abide under the shadow of Shaddai, you are hidden in the strength of God most high. He's the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me. The only God for me and my great confidence. His massive arms are wrapped around you, protecting you. You can run under his covering of majesty and hide. His arms of faithfulness are a shield, keeping you from harm. Lord God, thank you for being ever present. And even when we don't feel you, you are there. You offer yourself as our protector, our provider, the lover of our souls, our father, our guide, our shepherd, our comfort. Everything we need is found in you. And God, where trauma has come in and disrupted our sense of self, our sense of wholeness. God, you are the one who restores and heals. And as we read today, those of us who abide in you find the shelter. We find what we need, God. So teach us to abide to have that continual awareness of your nearness, to be attuned to your voice, to get to know your voice above the others because your voice does not seek condemnation. It doesn't sound like the voices in our minds that are born of woundedness. great healer we we pray that you'll teach us how to say yes to your invitation to abide to know you more to enter into the wholeness the shalom that you offer Thank you so much, Lord. 
in your precious name, we pray these things. Amen. So our practice has technically come to its end, but I invite you to rest as long as you'd like. There is no hurry. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I pray you have a blessed Sunday and rest of your week.